Hi everyone and welcome back again to um, another episode of uh, The Brewing Shed. Um, today I'm going to be putting into the pressure barrel the Cooper Stout that I made um, just last week. Um, a week is probably a bit early to be okay, well, um, yeah, putting this in the barrel. Normally I'd like to leave it two weeks, um, but it seems to be pretty much done. So yeah, we're going to do that, we're going to go and get that out of the way. Um, also a few bits that I didn't show you last week, which if I get the camera. Um, one of the things that I do in order to maintain the temperature when I'm fermenting is we went down to Asda, um, I don't know if the lights Let's show that up. We picked up one of these little plastic um, flexi tubs, and all we do is there's some water inside the tub, and off of eBay, um, just a cheap fish tank heater. Um, I didn't spend an awful lot of money on this to be honest with you it's holds it at the roughly the correct temperature and uh, i found in the winter when it's not that warm anyway to be honest it's quite good so we'll just put that over here for now okay so the uh, the next thing that i'm going to do is I'm just going to check the final gravity and um, then we'll get to sterilising the keg or uh, the pressure barrel and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, so yeah, one addition um, that I had that I've put on is these tacks. You can get them from most good homebrew um, shops. Get the camera again and just show that off. Again, um, they're not expensive. Quite easy to put in. Just drill a hole with rubber seals and to be honest i found them absolutely brilliant for when you're bottling up or for when you're putting into your pressure barrels um, before you still have to run a tube in suck the beer through to get it started tended to be a little bit messy now the tube will just fit straight on the tap gravity does the rest so we'll just get a little bit for our final gravity reading It'll help us take the top off.
for some good things from this particular brew. Actually, 1.01, and the temperature twenty-two. So, um, yep, I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to bother recording me sterilising um, the barrel or the tubes or anything like that. Don't want to bore you too much, but when you come back, we should be ready to siphon it off and put the beer into a barrel. See you soon. Okay, so we're back again. Um, everything's now been washed and sterilised, including the wife's kitchen, which she'll be happy about. So what we're going to do now then is we're going to run the beer from the fermenting vessel into the Walton Hurst. Um, it's just a basic barrel but should do fine. And um, first thing to do though is to add the priming sugar. So for a Walton Hurst keg um, they recommend no more than 85 grams of priming sugar. So we'll measure that out. just to make sure that it doesn't go everywhere. So the next step we'll add the tube. Normally just run this under boiling water for a second to make the tube a bit more easy to get on the barrel. On the fermenting vessel, sorry. do when you put the tube in is you want to make sure that the tube goes all the way to the bottom of the barrel so that as the beer is going in it's not taking any extra oxygen oxygenating the beer more than it needs to so like I say the tube straight right up to the bottom so after making sure that the tubes at the bottom bit of a struggle Again, 
that's got a lovely, lovely smell to it. In fact, just before I start putting that in the keg, there's our lovely beer. Cooper's Stout. So, with the addition of the tap that I was saying about earlier, it does make this so much easier. All we do It's nothing exciting, not too many people make um, videos about kegging up, but I thought something a bit different. So we'd have a go. While we're waiting um, for that to fill up, I'll just take this opportunity to tell everybody about the website that I launched which is www.thebrewingshed.co.uk um, I've put a lot of hard work into getting the website up and running the one thing that I can't do is fill it with members so I'm hoping that if you're watching the videos and you're enjoying the videos um, and you'd like to be part of the community share your own videos, get your own pictures up there, maybe even write a blog or two about how your home brewing is going, um, then please check the site out, sign up. Um, things won't really kick off until we get at least 10 or so good, decent, solid members on there, people that can offer advice and um, help out some of the newbies. But yeah, get yourselves on there, um, help out fellow home brewer and let's see if we can build a, a good community. Um, yeah, that's pretty much that. So we'll just wait out for this to fill up. Okay, so that's all I'm willing to take out. There's still plenty in there, but um, I don't want to risk getting any of the sediment into the barrel at this point. That's um, more than enough for me anyway. I'm just going to put the pressure seal on the top of this. Again, reminder everything has been cleaned, everything's been sterilised. Um, and just to make sure that we get a good seal, um, good old Vaseline petroleum jelly. It does say on the kits, on the bits to use as, as well. So just a finger full. And all we're going to do is rub that around the rubber seal. So, Cooper's Stout, 
and what we'll do, I'll come back in about a month or so, um, do, try and do a taste test, might even wait just a little bit longer because I do like to let uh, my beers age a um, couple of months before I drink them. I've read that on a lot of forums when I first started and it is true. Uh, they really do taste so much better if you can be patient and if you can hold out and wait. Um, what else to show you? Um, it's not something that you see in a lot of homebrew videos. If I empty some of this down the sink. Um, for a lot of people, it doesn't look very... Uh, very nice, but that's all the um, byproduct of the fermenting process, the sediment and what's left over from the yeast. So we'll give that a good clean out after the video. Get it ready for our next brew. But yeah, that's it. So we'll see you in a moment for a taste test, maybe two. Um, and like I say, don't forget to check out the website, sign up. Um, have a bit of fun and show your own videos. Thank you for watching. Thank you.